How about a stain you can create with ingredients from your own kitchen? And hey, it really, really works. Take a look at the color difference in these two picture frames. This is made of pine, it's been untreated, and this one has been stained with a stain that you can make, well, right out of your own kitchen with some really basic ingredients. Let me show you how to do it, because it's all natural, and well, the results, as you can see, are really pretty nice. What you want to start with is a quart jar. This will contain the stain, and it's as simple as taking a half a cup of coffee grounds, and these are grounds that you've already used. You don't want it to smell like coffee. And then you're going to take a steel wool pad, and I'm going to cut this into uh, pieces, just small pieces like this. There's one, two, oh, and if you buy steel wool, if it has soap in it like this, you want to make sure you rinse all the soap out first. Next, what you're going to do is take the pieces of steel wool and just drop them into the jar like this. You see, what you're doing is you're creating a chemical reaction that comes up with a color, which I think has a nice natural look to it. Now this is all activated by vinegar. I'm just using white vinegar. You could use balsamic, but it means your stain is gonna be slightly greener in color. So what you do is you just take this white vinegar and you fill up a quart jar all the way to the top with those ingredients like this. And seal it off and you're gonna wait one day. Now if you wait two days, your stain is gonna be slightly darker. So this has been soaking for one day. You can see my steel wool is beginning to dissolve. Then you want to take it and apply it with a steel wool like this across the plane of wood, making sure that it's fully saturated. This technique comes in really handy if you have to replace, say, a fence panel on your privacy fence or maybe boards on your deck where they've weathered this nice silvery gray like this table has. You put a new board on there and you want it to match the others. Rather than having to replace all the boards, you can do it and you can get this color so it looks like that it just fits right in and you can't tell that it's been replaced. Now, once you coat this, you're going to let this dry. And once it's dry, you'll probably want to apply another coat on it. It takes about 30 minutes for the chemical reaction to occur, and then this is the sort of look you get. So have a little fun with this. It's easy to make and very effective and all natural. If you're enjoying these segments on how to come up with clever ways to use just ordinary home products to come up with something exceptional, make sure you subscribe to eHow Home.